Ni hao! I'm Chennai vlogger Lucky and today we are going to talk about the different festivals in China that are also celebrated by some Asian countries. Let's get started! Qingming Festival or the Tomb Sweeping Day is also known as the Ancestors Day. It is usually celebrated on the first day of the 24th solar month. The origin of the story started 2000 years ago when Duke Wen of the Qin Dynasty had a confidant named Jia Zihui. After helping the Duke for so long, he decided to resign and stay in the forest for a long time with his mom. The king wanted him to come back but no one could find him and so they burned the forest to force him to come out of his hiding. Three days later, they found two burned bodies from the mountain and the Duke ordered his people to honor Jia Zihui every year on the day of his death. Qingming Festival is equivalent to All Souls Day in the Chinese lunar calendar. It is usually celebrated for three days where most of us would visit the grave of our ancestors, pray, burn incense and joss paper also known as money for the dead, and offer food. Next, we have the Dragon Boat Festival. It's celebrated on the fifth day of the fifth lunar calendar. Usually, it falls on the month of June. A popular story of the Dragon Boat Festival goes like this. Chu Yan was a high-ranking official of the Chu State in the Warring State period. Due to jealousy, of, he was sent to political exile and when he found out that Qin Dynasty conquered Chu State, he drowned himself in the Milua River. When the people knew about it, they rushed through their boats beating the drums out loud to ward off the evil spirits, while some were throwing sticky rice on the river so that the fish would not eat his body. Now, during the Dragon Boat Festival, we see people joining the Dragon Boat Racing and Chinese would eat zongzi or the sticky rice to celebrate the festival. One of my favorite Chinese festivals is the Mooncake Festival, also known as the Mid-Autumn Festival, celebrated on the 15th day of the 8th lunar calendar month. It was said that in ancient times, there were 10 suns in the sky and a famous archer named Ho Yi shoot down nine suns to save the people from dying. He was rewarded with an elixir of immortality, but a devious man wanted to steal the immortality from him. His wife, Chang He, decided to drink the elixir of immortality and she flew to the moon. Ho Yi, missing his wife so much, made moon-shaped biscuits and offered it under the moon, which is now we call the moon cakes. During the mooncake festival, the moon is at its brightest and roundest form. Family gathers eating mooncakes while appreciating the moon. In school, children are encouraged to create their own paper lanterns for decoration and guess a riddle hanged on the lantern. The most awaited activity during the Mooncake Festival here in the Philippines is the dice game, where family and friends gather in one table and play a dice game while eating the mooncake. It is said that the winners of the dice game will be blessed with luck and fortune for the coming year. Now down to the grandest celebration of the year, the Spring Festival, also known as the Chinese New Year, celebrated on the first day of the lunar calendar. Chinese New Year celebrations are born out of fear and myth. Legend spoke of the wild beast Nian that appeared on New Year's Eve to attack and kill the villagers. The villagers found out that it was afraid of loud noises and bright lights. Since then, the people would hang red objects on their window bang gongs and lit firecrackers to scare off the evil beast. Rituals done to scare off the beast Nian pass down generations to generations, but it is now believed to ward off evil spirit and bring good fortune. That is why during Spring Festival, we could still see red paper on the door, colorful firecrackers, and festive sound of the drum, lion, and dragon dances. That is to welcome the new year! And of course, who would want to miss eating the round and bunny-shaped food like dumplings and pikoi on the Chinese New Year? These foods are believed to symbolize wealth and togetherness. Other foods like fish, noodles, and tangerine fruit are also served for prosperity and long life. Chinese New Year is also gift-giving day. Every Chinese New Year, Ama and Ang Kong will give me Hong Pao or the red envelope with money. While they are giving it to us, they would say Kong Si Fa Chai and in response, I will tell them Hong Pao Na Lai which means please give me the Ang Pao. And these are the important festivals in China. Which is your favorite? Mine is Kong Si Fa Chai, Hong Pao Na Lai. Don't forget.
have been somebody who has gone through a time to reconnect to his mind, hold on, I'm ready to get your prosperity, money, and luck.